This is question number 26 for the T and Ready Math Practice Test for Grade 5. We are in subpart 3. Calculators are allowed. I don't know why you'd use it on this one, but here we are. There are five bags of jelly beans. Each bag is 7 eighths full. Which expression can be used to represent the total amount of full bags of jelly beans? There are some things going on here. I have five bags. And I'm 7 eighths of the way up there, so all this, this is 7 eighths. We'll pretend this is 7 eighths, so this is 7 eighths. This is 7 eighths. This is 7 eighths. I didn't mark my 7 correctly. This is 7 eighths. And this is 7 eighths. Now, the most generic way to do this would just be to add them all together, right? That'll give me the total value, as long as I... Uh, got a fill for how many full bags that I would get. I would just add them up and see what's left over. Um, also, instead of just a lot of adding, I could do multiplying. So I could do 7 eighths times 5. I'm going to move up here for a second. That's another option. All okay. What happens if I did any of these things? Well, if I did these and added them together, it would give me 35 eighths. If I got up here, I would do Remember, any number that's not that's a whole number can be made a fraction by putting it over 1, because 5 divided by 1 is still 5. So 7 times 5 is 35. 8 times 1 is 8. Multiply the numerators, multiply the denominators. That's how you multiply fractions. So that's really the answer that I'm looking for. So what are they trying to get me to do? They want me to find math that can equal out to that total value. So there's a few ways that you can do it. One of them could use the calculator if you want, and we'll talk about that in just a minute. But what I'd rather do at first is look at the idea of what 5 times 7 eighths really looks like. In this case, I would do 5 times 7 first. Remember how I wrote 35 out? And then I'd end up doing 35 divided by 8. So if I could do 5 times 7 together, and then divided by 8, it should give me the same answer. 7 divided by 8 times 5, we never multiplied 5 times 8 at any point. It never happened. 5 times 7 divided by 8, that's exactly what I said. So my guess is it's going to be this one. 8 divided by 7 times 5. That makes no sense. The 8's on the bottom. You can't divide 8 by that. It makes no, that's crazy. And the 6, who knows? I don't even know what they're doing there. It's just some other thing that they've invented in their head to make sense. So the answer has to be B. Now, what if you can't get there? You've been working on it for a while, and you don't really conceptually understand where to go with it. I mean, that's not that weird. We've all been there. So what can you do instead? Well, we can test some of these answers. Now, you may have to go through a little bit of heartache first, but if you get to this point where it's 7 over 8 times 5 over 1, you can go ahead and say, okay, well, well what is 35 divided by 8? 4.375. That's the number I'm trying to make work, right? I mean, that's the ultimate goal in all this. So I will change the color a little bit to something sort of faux ridiculous. And I'll put it right here, 4.375. And then Da, da, da. We can just try the answer choices and see if we can get there. I don't advocate that you do this. This is not great math, but if they're going to give you a multiple choice test, you might as well exploit it if you need to. So we have to do the parentheses first, so this is where you can't be lazy. We know 8 times 5 is 40, and if you don't know, you have a calculator that can help you. My pen's running again. Hold on one second. All right, back to this, 40. So I will do 7 divided by 40, and it gives me da 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 not this. So I know this isn't the correct answer, so I can mark it out. Not bad, right? At least it gets you somewhere closer. There we go. Pin's being weird today. Um, now let's try the next one, the one I think is the correct answer. And I would know, right? You'd think. Maybe I'm wrong. 5 times 7 is 35, and then I'll do 35 divided by 8. Or maybe you're just the nervous type and you like to check long as you don't run out of time. Da, 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 it's the same. So this would actually be the answer, as I said before. And you could go back and check if you wanted to. If you did uh, this one, it's going to be 8 divided by 35, because 7 times 5 is 35. You know, all the math thingies. That doesn't match. That's crazy. And then 6 times 7 divided by 5. You'll have to do the 7 divided by 5 first, because da, 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 parentheses. 
So you end up with 1.4. So you do write 1.4 there. Don't be lazy like I'm being. 6 times 1.4. Uh, no, that does not match either. So that is your last resort sort of thing. Um, but generally speaking, you can figure it out much more quickly just by sort of giving you a, yourself a feel for it. Well, what are they really asking? Draw a little picture so you can get a feel for it. Is there any way that I could... It's supposed to be a plus. I don't know what happened to the parts. I guess when I hit back once, it eliminated them. This program's a little weird. Um, remember, if we have a lot of addition, you could just do multiplication. Reassess what that looks like, and what I'm really doing is 5 times 7 here, and then divide that by 8. So this gives me 5 times 7 divided by 8. So the answer is, of course, number 20, or answer is B for number 26.